Hello everybody, I'm Juan Pablo Sabines and I'm here to tell you a story. It's not a story about love or heroes or drama, but more of a story about how unlucky you can be and how your attitude about it can affect it a lot. It was around two years ago. I lived in Mexico City, I had a vacation break and I wanted to see three of my friends and we had planned to go to Acapulco for a few days on the beach. It was a four hour road trip. We had planned to get there on time to have some margaritas and coconut shrimp at our favorite place. Besides, it was the birthday of one of our friends. And my dad and my brother were going with us as well. So it was an all-guys road trip. Should be fun, right? We took off late at night. Me and my friends had bought some drinks for the road, you know. Uh, we were listening to some music. We were having a good time. But, halfway there our car suspension broke and there was no way for us to move on since we were in the middle of nowhere we called a tow truck which came like an hour later to take us back into the next gas station back towards Mexico City so with all of us inside the car the tow took us and all we did was keep the good attitude keep drinking and keep playing some music and having fun it's pretty amazing to be on top of a car that's inside of a car that's on top of another one in the highway in the middle of the night. So already past midnight, a driving came from Mexico City with another car to where we were, which was like an hour away, because our original car just didn't work anymore. So we took off again, not letting the situation affect our mood. But Less than an hour from our paradise, turns out there was a protest movement blocking the highway. Every single lane and no one could pass. It was already over 4 a.m. and we were getting desperate. We had to drive in reverse in the highway to get to our return point and go back to Chilpancingo, which was the closest city. If Acapulco is a paradise, Chilpancingo is like hell like hell. It's an awful looking city where you cannot find a decent restaurant or hotel. All we can find to eat was a tamale torta, torta de tamal, which is literally like corn dog in the middle of two pieces of bread. I love those tamales but those 6 a.m. cheap weren't great ones to be honest. Also, we slept in a hostel with no clean water, but many bucks. Finally, we were aware of the news and after over 10 hours, the protest got away and we were good to go. We finally got to Acapulco where a friend was already expecting us in my house alone. But we all had a good time and after that we enjoyed many days of fun, sun and sea. And we'll always remember that trip fondly as the trip of bad luck but good adventure. Thank you.